sometimes on social, they're more cold. Oh, that's okay. No worries. Um, <clears throat> so parties are free introduction to a warm network and they're so, so much fun. Um, and I have five, so if you're a note taker, I have five tips for successful parties. Some of these are going to apply to your launch. Some of them will apply to parties moving forward, um, but hopefully they will all be helpful in some way. So number one, your mindset. What is your mindset around these events? When you're going into them, when you're getting started, do you have confidence? Do you feel excited about them? Are you totally psyched to share all your new clothes? Um, or are you kind of like, oh, I have to do this, or oh, I'm nervous. Like go into it with an excited attitude. I literally just did two live events right before this for parties. And um, we were a little bit slower over Christmas. And I'm like, finally, I feel like I have life again because I'm doing parties again. Um, so just have that positive energy and share your love for the clothes with the people in the event. Um, that's what it's all about. Um, so go in with a po positive mindset, realize that this is a free introduction to a new network. And I really like to approach my parties from a place of gratitude. I'm so grateful for my hostesses. I'm so grateful for the people in there. And when I introduce myself, I tell them, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my small business, my family. Um, thank you for helping me to get Jill some free and half off gear. Like, thank them for being there and approach your parties from a place of gratitude and appreciation because those people are there they're supporting your business they're supporting your friend and they may be your future customers your future teammates um and it just feels like a really good place to come from as you approach your event so um and don't don't view them as a have to like oh i have to do this like this is a major tool and in my opinion the most valuable tool in growing your business and in growing your network so number one is mindset number two be organized and have a plan um so i know a lot of you are probably planning your launch party sarah has excellent resources on the papaya page we have lots of great leaders on this team with great resources um, i know sarah has a mock facebook launch party use those resources you guys use them make them your own and then moving forward have a plan for where are you going to store your pictures at where are you going to have your outline are you going to keep using that mock party great are you going to create one of your own maybe you'll use something like since share you know don't worry about all those small details with your launch right this second but moving forward make sure you have a plan and even with your launch utilize the resources that the team has in place to help you stay organized and be calm and not feel like you have all these other things going on um our resources are awesome so use them and then as you move forward just have a system in place for how you post and how you can do it quickly whether it's copying and pasting scheduling through facebook or scheduling through a facebook scheduler i think that that is so important especially because you're going to want to be hosting a minimum of four parties a month um when i first launched i actually was hosting 10 to 12 a month and i really didn't slow down from that until probably the last year and my goal is still to have like six or eight um four is good four is a great way to grow your business at a good pace but if you are really ready to just go all in book two a week book eight a month you know book 10 a month and your your business will grow even quicker um and the more organized you are and the systems that you have in place it doesn't matter to me if i'm hosting two parties a week or one party a week it it all feels the same because of the systems that i have in place so again some good organizational tools use the mock facebook parties that are on facebook that sarah has created um have some sort of a party checklist which is like you know posting the follow-ups do your giveaway if you're doing a giveaway just whatever you are going to do in your parties have a checklist because that'll really help you stay organized as well and then decide what system you're going to use for posting and um how you're going to organize your pictures if you start out being organized it will help you so much you won't have to take time in the future to like stop everything and get all organized so i think that that's super important another thing in regards to being organized is decide when works best for you to host these events um i'll talk about going live but we recommend going live in all of your parties so when does it work well for you 
for me, I used to always do them in the evening and, and it didn't necessarily work great for me because it pulled me away from my daughter or whatever. So now I do them in the middle of the day because that works well for me. And then I get people on the live by doing incentives. I tag them in the replay, um, but figure out like what day of the week, what time's gonna work best for you? Because then it really helps your mindset if it doesn't feel like, oh gosh, it's eight o'clock at night and I gotta go do it. Or maybe eight o'clock at night works really well for you. Um, so figure out what works best for you and kind of have that marked as your party days on your schedule. Because then when you start booking more parties outside of your launch, you'll say, okay, Sarah, I have this Wednesday, this Wednesday at these times, what works best for you? And it's just a lot less back and forth um, and just streamlined. So number two is be organized and have a plan. Number three, and this will not apply to your launch party, so I won't get too much in depth about this, but number three is coach your hostess. So the whole, you start with your launch party, you get as many people in there as possible. You show them these clothes, you show them your excitement for the brand, the clothes, the company, the business opportunity, and then they're going to purchase the clothes, they're going to love the clothes, and you're going to ask them to host. And I'll talk a little bit more about that um, with the follow-up process, but once you get people who are like, yeah, I'll host for, I'll host a party. I want to get free and half off gear. You're going to want to coach them. And it doesn't take that much, but just letting them know, you know, message, here's a follow-up message you can send. Here's how you invite people. Don't mass invite, just coaching them. And there are tools on um, the Papaya website for that as well. So I won't get into too much of that because we're really focused more on your launch party at this point. So with your launch party, um, you're going to want to get as many people in there as possible. This is going to eventually turn into your VIP group and you just want as many people in there as possible. Share this with as many people. Um, so number four is to connect with party goers and this applies to your launch party and to parties in the future, but <clears throat> not just inviting them, not just sending this mass invite like, oh, nobody knows what it's going to be about if you just invite them to a random group so you're going to want to personally invite them reach out hey jill i found this awesome new brand of activewear i'm so excited to share it with you i'm launching my business next week it's totally online super simple would you like an invite would you like to join us end with a question once they say yes invite them to the group but personally message everyone whether it's facebook messenger instagram messenger text message however you normally communicate with your group of friends and family communicate with them that way and send them a personalized invite um, and it can be super simple you can copy and paste that message um, but it's just that one-on-one -on -one message that really makes a difference and gets their engagement right from the beginning. They know what they're being invited to. They're expecting the invite. They're gonna actually accept it because they said yes. Um, so that's a really simple key thing to do. Um, once you're in your group, go live in there, you guys. Go live, tell them why you're doing this. Either do a live intro or do an intro post of why did you choose Zaya? Why did you choose to launch this business? What are you excited about? This is the most exciting time in your business. You're just getting ready to launch. Don't be shy to share that. Share this amazing company, this amazing brand with everyone. Um, and then learn about them. So most for your launch party, these are going to probably be people you mostly know, but ask them, and there's a specific post, Sarah has it in the template, but tell if there's a tell me about you post. So you ask them, you know, what do you use your active wear for? What do you do in your active wear? What's currently your favorite brand? And engage with those posts. Um, react and respond to every single comment in the party. This does not mean that you need to be like, oh my gosh, somebody commented. You do not need to be on your phone every second, all day long. You can check your phone two times a day, one time a day, and respond to everything at once. So don't feel like you have to be like, Connect it to your phone, but check it at least once every 24 hours. And as people are responding to your posts, respond back to them, show links to them, um, show them pictures. If they're looking for joggers, send them a couple pictures, send them direct links. The easier you make the shopping for them, the better. So I always like to post direct links. Um, so react and respond to every comment in the party. And yeah, it doesn't need to be real time. Just once or twice a day, you can check your phone. So go live. I like when people go live twice, especially with a launch, you can go live in your event and unbox, unbox what you got in your kit, 
show them the value of all these things that you got talk about the quality don't worry about the price of items or the exact name of items just tell them how it feels tell them how it makes you feel describe the product and then if they're like oh what's that pink shirt again you can send them the link you don't need to know that it has five different names to it <laughs> okay just just don't worry about the details just share what you love and that's going to resonate with people and reassure them that you are their personal shopper anything they want or need you will send them the, the direct links um, and then make sure you follow through and do that um what else here and encourage people to watch those videos so i encourage you to do an initial live in your event unbox your kit talk about why you chose zaya what you're excited about and then you could even do an additional live or your sponsor sometimes can help you with this with the main live where you're showing more of the product so you have you know when i started i didn't have a rack i didn't have anything i had a pile of clothes on my bed and i just went through it and i did that my parties like that probably for a good year and it works so don't worry don't get caught up in the the look of things and knowing everything perfectly just have fun share what you love about the brand um post thank you notes i like to post thank you notes in my party as purchases are made and people do these differently i have a couple girls on my team who do gifts for every single one and it's something funny and a thank you what i like to do is i'll screenshot the product so if they got like shirt and leggings and then i say thank you sarah and i do a little message and then i post those you know again once a day and it shows the other people like, oh, people are buying this. This is awesome. I want to try it too. It also gives them different outfit ideas and different, oh yeah, I forgot. I liked those sweats. So post those again, at least once a day, um, not only to show your appreciation and gratitude for the people who are supporting your business, but also to give other people ideas and remind them like, oh yeah, I was going to go and order on Jill's party. I got to make sure I do that. So thank them um, publicly in the group. And then personal messages are the best way to connect with the party goers. So like I talked about, first of all, you're going to personally message, message them to invite them. And then I like to message people on the day that I'm going live. So I'll message them that morning and be like, hey, Sarah, thank you so much for joining my Zaya event. I'm going to be going live today at noon. If you can hop on the live, great. If not, no worries. You can catch the replay. Um, but is there anything specific that you would like for me to show? Um, and most of the time they'll just say like tanks or leggings or shorts. And um, if you don't have that yet, that's okay. You can post more about it. Or you can send them, oh, I don't actually have any shorts just yet, but here are some links to some top ones, or here are some links to some customer favorites that we've had, uh, popular ones that we've had in the US or something like that. So um, don't worry if they say that they wanna see something, you don't have it. Just send them a link to one of those types of items. Um, and then on the last day to order, whenever you're getting ready to close your party and with your launch, you're always going to have some sort of shopping link open. But I do think it's important with your launch to have an end date so that people have a sense of urgency to order and you can kind of wrap the actual official launch party up and kind of move forward with your business. So on the last day to order, I would always message people and say, you know, hey there, thanks for joining my Zaya party. Today is the last day to order. Do you have any questions or can I help with sizing? I always like to end with a question because it just creates that engagement. And sometimes they won't answer. Sometimes they'll say, oh, you know, I just don't have the money right now. I'm not planning to order. And then sometimes they'll say, oh yeah, uh, what about this bra? What about that? Again, it's a perfect opportunity for you to help them be their personal shopper and send those specific links. So it makes the shopping really easy on them. And then, um, okay, so that's number four, connect with the party goers. If this is not your launch party, so as you move forward and you're connecting with new groups of people, friend everybody in the group. Because if you don't friend them, they will more than likely, they will not see your messages. This just happened to me yesterday. I friended all the people in the party and this girl accepted my friend. Most of them will accept, some of them won't. It doesn't matter, it's okay if they don't. And then she saw one of just my regular posts and she's like, wait, Zaya has resistance bands. And I was like, yeah. And this was something I posted like a week ago. And she went on the party she was in and ordered the resistance bands. So it doesn't always happen that way, but they see your stuff and you begin to build that connection with them. And then they see these messages that you're sending them to um, as you're, you're closing up the party. 
So number five, and this is, I feel like these are all the most important, but I feel like this is the most important step after you have gotten sales, after you have received sales, this is the most important thing you can do. Number five is follow-up. Provide that customer service. Provide top-notch customer service, and they will be your customers for life. They will be the people who will join you in your business. They will join your team, and you just want to provide that anyway, right? You don't want somebody to order a pair of leggings, not like them, and shove them in their closet and never wear them. If there is a sizing issue or a fit, feel, you want to solve that for them so that they love whatever they have. You want to create that really great shopping experience for every single customer. So, Again, to me, this goes back to organization. So have some sort of system in place. Um, I think Sarah has a tracker on the website, but I just use a Google Docs and I put every order in there. I do my follow-ups just once a week. So it's not super time consuming. Um, have some sort of system to make sure that you are following up with every customer on every single order. And how my follow-ups go, I look in the back office. You can look under order history and see if they've received their order. Again, I just do this once a week, so I'm not obsessing over it every day, and it's not taking tons of time. Um, I just say, hey, Sarah, I see that you received your new leggings and tank. Just wanted to check in and make sure you're loving them. Is everything working well for you? And then they'll respond. Sometimes they don't respond. People are busy. People not responding has nothing to do with you, so don't let that ever discourage you. Um, if they don't respond the following week, when I do my follow-ups again, if they haven't responded, I check back in with them. And then usually that second time they do respond, but once they answer you, um, if there's, if there's any type of sizing issue or anything like that, take care of the exchange, make sure you follow up once that's processed. But then as soon as they say, yes, I love these leggings. You are not kidding. When you said they were the best thing ever. You're going to talk to them immediately about either hosting an event or joining your team. Whichever you feel most comfortable with, um, talk to them about it. I always ask people, like I say, great, I'm so glad you love your new items. I'd love to get you more gear for free and half off. Would you like to see my open event dates, party dates, whatever for February? Always ask for if they want to host. Who doesn't want free and half off gear? Like when people... People will say no, and that's okay. But when they do, I'm always like, I just don't get it. I don't understand why you don't want free and half off stuff. Um, but feel free right then and there. If they're super excited, talk to them about the business. Talk to them about why you're excited and why you decided to join and how you're looking for people to grow your team and to do this alongside of you. It's so much more fun when you have some friends joining near like, around the same time as you and you just run together. You learn together, you run together, you grow together. So, so much fun. Um, and make sure you're handling, if there are any returns or exchanges, handle them in a timely manner, get them the info they needed. Our process is super simple. And then again, you can always see in your back office when those are processed, when they've received their new item and follow up with them again. Um, and again, that's why I recommend having some sort of tracker so that you can track these things. So, you know, you need to go back and follow up with so-and-so on that. But do not ever do a follow-up without talking to them about either repping or hosting an event. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I just want to make sure. So yeah, the follow-up process, this is really how I've kept my calendar booked for basically the last three and a half years. I post about it on social um, very often, but I don't get tons from that. I get my parties booked by these follow-ups. And that is the whole way we build our businesses. From parties come new connections, new customers, new hostesses, and new reps. So this is how we build everything. We build our sales. Yep, exactly. It's this, it's a circle. It reminds me of that movie. It's not a triangle. It's a circle. But no, it's a circle of, that is our circle of business. And when you have your funnel full of parties, everything else falls into place. It just does. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I would love to answer any questions or Sarah or Jill, feel free to add anything. Oh, I have a list of questions. Shocker. I know. <laughs> First question. Do you have a minimum amount of people that you expect your hostess to have in their, in their party, in their Facebook group party before you start? Is that a 
something you set out or what's a good number we should aim for? How about that one? I think a good number of quality people in there is 25. My two parties this week, I had seven and eight, I think, and that was low. Um, but I treat those parties, I treat those lives the exact same way. I try to connect and I, and I encourage my hostess, like my messages to my hostesses this morning were like, there's still time to get more people in, <laughs> you know, like you want more. Um, but I try to set the expectation of like 25 to 30, okay. but I never say, oh, there's not enough. We're not going to, I just, you know, cause you never know. You could have one person in there and yeah. I've never maybe one person, but <laughs> Okay, next question. Thank you very much. Um, so with your hostess, you have them reach out to everyone um, personally to make sure they're inviting. Do you have them do anything on their personal profile at all? Is that something you do? Yeah, I usually have some sort of graphic that's really basic. Like I'm hosting as I active party. Do you love active wear? And I tell them, you know, you can put this on your personal pages. You can put this in your stories. Tell people to comment or vote if they'd like an invite um, just to get it out there even more. Okay. Thank you. Um, hold on. I have to go through my list. I have a few. Wait. Oh, um, so for, do you give a lot of giveaways? Like, do you do a lot of giveaway with your gift cards or like how many, how many would you do in a party? Do you, what does that look like? I kind of change it up every now and then, but the one that I pretty much always do is anyone who comments on the live video or the replay of my main live gets free shipping. Um, okay. I just think that that's a super easy one. My goal, you know, especially now, people may not be interacting with the post. That doesn't bother me at all. I want them to see the live. I want them to see me in the clothes. I want them to hear me talk about what makes them so great. So that's what I really incentivize is for them to be on the live. And then I always do some sort of incentive for anyone who books a party um, with me in the future. So I'll say like right now, with our party promo, I'm trying to book my calendar even more. I said, anybody who books a party with me is going to get $20 off their order today. Normally I just do like $10 or 10% or something, but it helps the hostess get more orders and it's, it's booking for future parties too. Hold on. Thank you. Sorry, my dog is barking. Okay. Um, I love your, when you do your reach out and you're saying, um, is there anything um, specific you want me to show you? Because I know if I can connect with them before they order and help them with their sizing, I rarely will get a return or an exchange. Mm -hmm. um, do you do that as well? And then suggest things that you know will work for them? Yes. So if they're like, oh, I kind of want to see the joggers. I'll ask more questions like, do you want to wear them around the house? Do you want to wear them for the office? Are you a nurse? You know, kind of trying to figure out what specifically they want to wear that specific product for. So then I can recommend what I feel would fit them best. And then, yeah, kind of get into that conversation about what size do you normally wear and really helping there. It does. It's really helpful to create that connection and help them up front with those things to create the okay. best experience. Uh, was there a question on shipping, Sarah? Yeah, there was. Um, okay, so if you're a new rep, um, we did try to suggest that maybe you hold back a little bit of one of your gift cards because you can use that to help for maybe some of your first parties, your lunch party, and then it's not costing you any more money. So if you still have part of your gift card, you can use that um, to help offset the cost because we don't really want you spending any more money before you're making money. So. That would be a good way. And if not, you can buy gift cards. Um, just make sure it's not an event on your customer website. Right, sir? Yeah. Okay, next question. <laughs> um, okay, so when you get someone that asks, that says, you know, I'd really like to order, but I just don't have the money. What do you, what do you do with that? I tell them that if they want to give Zaya a try and they don't quite have the money right now, a great way to get into Zaya at a lesser cost is to host a party. So right then and there, I talked to them about hosting um, and that they can get the stuff for free and half off. They can get a lot more for their money that way. And I'd love to, you know, to do a party for them that way. Okay. Okay. That might be, oh, I have the other thing. One more, <laughs> one more question. I know you, 
I know you mentioned that you make sure at some point you're responding to everyone who comments because obviously that helps all the Facebook feeds, helps more people see it. Do you also encourage your hostess to, to reply to them as well? Yeah, I, I encourage my hostess to interact. Um, I also have certain follow-up messages. I have two follow-up messages that I just copy and paste to my hostess too for her to send out, similar to the ones that I send out on the day that I go live and the day that the party's closing. So she could just literally copy and paste them. But I do encourage interaction. Sometimes I created this bingo thing. Um, and it's like, you know, if you get a bingo... It's like three across and, but it's for the hostess. So I'll say, if you do these things, like if you get 25 people in the party and if you do this and you do that, then I'll give you an extra 10 or $20 in rewards um, to encourage that. And then I just have like a little graphic that I say at the beginning of the party that I give them um, to show them like, here is here are ways to have a successful party. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we we have that on the market, in the marketing group, there's some good ones. Yeah. One other yeah. thing real quick back to like, if the gal says, you know, I just don't have the money right now. I offer the party and a lot of times they're a little bit shy to do that too. Then I'll get them in my VIP group. So I'll say, well, I would love to add you to my VIP group over there. You can see new products release. You can see any customer specials I have. Um, and so I like to get them over there too, so that they can keep seeing the stuff. Um, this is totally a side note, but as you keep getting more inventory, eventually you'll have a lot of stuff and you'll be like, okay, I think I can kind of part with that. One thing I like to do in my VIP groups is I sell all of my used Zaya in my VIP group. I do it two or three times a year. I do, I call it a closet clean out and granted it's all stuff that's mostly my size or some of my mom's stuff, but um, it's another really great way for them to get into Zaya and try the product at a lesser price too. So that's further down the road, but just another idea. You're always want to be thinking ahead and you, you want as many people in that VIP group of yours as possible. So as you're running things and as you're sharing new releases, they're seeing it from you. Okay. I think that was all my questions. Um, Sarah wanted me to just <laughs> quickly talk about Carly, Carly is amazing at parties and um, selling product and your lifetime volume is insane. My lifetime volume is not insane because uh, I flip most of my hostesses into reps before the party's usually done. So I'm going to quickly talk about that. Yeah, before I get talking about that, um, I just want to clear up when we're talking about your launch party and Carly, you did say that. Um, so you've created your group and really your launch party. You don't have to create an extra event for that. It's really just you're featuring the items like a party within that group. But I love your idea of kind of an end, an end date. And then you're moving forward with just kind of regular featuring Zaya different items daily. So I just wanted to clear that up. I know we had some questions on that. Okay, so quickly, um, how I flip most of my reps. So um, Carly's hosting a party. Oh, hey, Carly, I am setting up your party. So I talk about being a... Um, a wrap three times. And the first time I do it is before I've even touched and set up her party. Listen, Carly, I really think that um, you would be amazing at this. And have you ever thought about being a wrap before I set your party up? Like, has that ever gone through your mind? Oh, it has. Okay. Yeah. No, I really think you would be great. Um, now you could sign up right now and then I can still host your party and then you'd be collecting, you know, the credits and the commission. But if, if you want, I could just go ahead with the party and you can actually put some credits towards bringing the kit down if you want to. 99% of the time, they are saying, no, I'd rather do the party, okay? Because they're, they're nervous. They're like, what happens if nobody buys? I don't want to sign up. And then, and then what do I do? So that's fine. I expect them to say no. That is I, what I'm doing is I'm just putting in a little plug. That's my, my first plug. Second plug comes kind of first, second day in. I'm hoping... You know, we're getting a lot of interaction in the group. Even if I don't have a sale, I will go back and say, oh my gosh, Carly, you're, oh my gosh, I love your group of girls. Like they're amazing. I love how they're interacting. And you already have a couple of sales. Like you would be an amazing rep. You really, you really need to think about this. You know, like I can continue with your party or if you want, again, you can like, you know, get signed up right now. I almost feel bad taking your commission. They always say no there too. <laughs> but I've warmed them up now twice. So then by the end of the party, when I say, listen, Carly, you are crazy. Like, look at all these orders. 
your parting was amazing. We had all this interaction. I really think you'd be incredible at this. They are pretty much always a yes. They're ready. It, was, it is a confidence is the reason why they're not a rep yet and they're hosting a party. So that's pretty much how I flip most of my hostesses, what I'm going to say. Um, I'm about to focus on some sales too, <laughs> but that is, that is um, how I do it. And Carly is right. Every single, you friend request every single person in the party because you want to get them into your VIP group. Everybody is driven to the VIP group. Anyone who is like on your Facebook pro profile and, and says something, uh, talks to you in your stories about a post, it's all to funnel them into your VIP group, which is like your online store. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Simple. Hey ladies, I've got a question if I can. Um, thanks Jill for that. And thank you so much, Carly. That was amazing. So I actually ran a Facebook, my first Facebook party for a host who just rang me and said I want you to do it I hadn't even done my own launch party yet um so I was a little bit I've done lots of Facebook events but um I was freaking out because there was lots of people in the group and um <clears throat> anyway because Australia doesn't have this plethora of products um obviously I was like do I show them all do I just pick a couple do I how long do I go live for like I had no idea anyway so I ended up just pretty much showing them all like I just flipped like I was in my sports bra half the time um so mine went for half an hour um and I showed everything and the feedback was great but how long do you go for do you just show a couple? Like, I'd love to know what you think. Work. I'm sure you've tried every, like, you've probably gone short, you've probably gone long. Like, what works best and what do you show? And is that just based on the questions you've asked? But obviously the host doesn't know what everyone likes. So I'm just, yeah, wondering. Thanks. Well, first of all, congratulations. That's awesome. And that's exactly <laughs> what I did. I went live on my Facebook page and said, Anybody who wants free active wear, I'll host a party for you. And I was doing the, their parties <laughs> before I even launched. So good job and way to jump in. That is so awesome and exciting. Um, yeah, so my lives are about 30 minutes and I have to be very mindful because I, I feel like people might not hang on much longer than 30 minutes. Um, and I show a variety. So I always start my live by telling a little bit about me and a little bit about my Zaya story. And that's where I talk about the business and what it's done for my family and thank them for being there. And then I always start with what I'm wearing. So I always make a point to wear stuff that is in stock if possible. Um, I always try to just show things that are only in stock, um, which, you know, you don't have to do that, but try to focus on the things that you have available for your customers. Um, and I just show a variety. So I just go through my rack and I show, you know, a couple of sports bras, medium support, high support, a couple tanks, a few fitted, a few loose, um, depending like right now it's winter in Colorado. So I, today I only showed like maybe two different tanks, but a lot of like long sleeves and jackets, um, hundred percent always talk about the light and tights. Those are our bread and butter. Um, and I like to show variety of those and definitely the jogger. So I show a little bit of everything. Um, and my lives are usually right at 30 minutes. Um, so sounds like you did a great job. Oh, no, thanks. And thank you. Yeah, well, it, I think it, I, I didn't even know what the time was. I just kept talking and then I was like, I need to stop talking. Um, <laughs> but also I got my host to also go live after after the live, I got her to go live to say, oh my God, that was so fun. And that actually got the most interaction. So that's, I guess, a little tip that I found um, that because then they connected with her. They don't know me. So I felt like they connected with her the most and it got them actually now wanting to support it because they actually saw Kelly doing her thing so she just did like a two minute but it was great so I don't know I, I don't know if that's what you do but I just found that that was like the most interactive post in the whole thing <laughs> yeah it's a great idea to have them go live to have them post pictures and then like Jill said then she's already doing what you're doing as a rep and it is the perfect conversation to be like you're doing what I'm doing you are a natural at this like you've got to join me in this so very smart you're doing awesome I'm going to, I'm going to talk on that for a minute. If you can get someone to go live, that is a wrap right there. Even if they can post pictures, if they're sometimes, um, 
I'll give them the thank you post too to do. So they're like not, they're answering their people. They're posting the thank you post. They're, they're literally doing it all. So then by the time you're saying, uh, you should be wrapped. You just like did the entire thing. Um, they're ready to go because they, they already did it. So that is awesome. You should talk to her today about being a rep. Yeah, I, I think she's thinking that she put 80 people in the group. I was like, are you joking? What are we doing here? Like, so I think she will. That's crazy. It's, just, it's that confidence thing for her. So um, yeah, I'll have a chat with her. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Any more any questions, other- Sarah? <laughs> I don't see any more. I think we answered. Somebody asked um, how you cover shipping in Australia and there are gift cards that you can purchase if that's something that you want to do. You'll just purchase gift cards, send them the gift card code. Um, yeah, so, so much good information. The other thing that I'm going to add there is, do you need something, Jill? The other thing I'm going to add there is to try and get everybody in the party. So you're going to have your launch party. You're going to turn that into your VIP, your online community. You're going to host other parties or other events for other people and other groups. And then you're going to pull them, hey, join my VIP page in your messaging. Make sure, hey, thanks so much for hanging out with us. You know, all the follow-up that Carly said, make sure and join my VIP page so you can see all the new releases. Just so that's how you're growing. If you didn't get them to host a party, maybe they didn't purchase yet, maybe they didn't follow, that is a perfect way to get them introduced and continually have high touch uh, with them. They're not just no longer connected to you because the party's over, you still have high touch with them in your VIP group, grow your community, and they can kind of see um, the value of that as well. Did you have something? I have one, I have one more tip. Uh, okay, so the one of the things you can do if you're hosting and you're going to have quite a few orders, hopefully, is you can do something called bulk shipping and you can bulk ship to your hostess. I believe it's flat rate shipping $10, right, in Australia. So what um, you might want to do if you like have a whole bunch of people and they're local to your hostess, they don't even have to be local to you, they're local to your hostess, is you can say, okay, we're putting an order in tomorrow. Anybody want free shipping? You put all those orders together, ship it to the hostess, she hands them out. Again, she's doing your job. Thank you check another another rep right there and then you just keep doing that you're like in two more days you're like we're putting in another order does anybody want to order free shipping and so you're not always then having to pay for other people's shipping it works very well if they're local to you and you have like a big a big group obviously and you're uh like a lot of people ordering so yeah that was that was it now i'm really done sarah for real uh no and the last thing with that is a lot of people think that unless you're doing a bulk order um the items don't ship until the party's closed that's not the case it just ships as it as the orders go through which i think is great uh which is why you know keeping a shopping link in your vip page so it can continually get orders those will ship as they come through so oh my gosh lots of information here i'm sure there's lots and lots of questions so good carly honestly anytime i'm always like carly give me some advice carly she is incredible not just at parties she recruits and sponsors a ton she's an incredible leader of a large team um but parties she has that stuff mastered and so we are super grateful for you for taking the time to do that thank you thank you thank you um we will get the recording out i missed the intro of carly so if you missed that carly is amazing um but the recording is out it's also streaming on the facebook um group that we're in um but i'll get that out i'll post it in the facebook group so you guys can have access to it and share with your downlines if they're not on so okay have a good day you guys new releases are coming for you guys in australia in just a little bit we just got incredible things today and so i can't wait to see what launches there all right have a good day i almost said night have a good day guys See ya.